All right, everybody. Um, so there's one other kind of if statement. Gentlemen, there's one other kind of if statement, and it is called uh, if, else if, else. Boy, were we having fun, huh? So int temp equals, uh, oh, I shouldn't have deleted that random number generator, but we'll just go right here. Um, this is when you have uh, a series of things, but you only want to pick one of them. So um, you can say if temp uh, less than 40, That's on the video forever. Um, and so is that. Um, all right. So uh, here we're going to say different things based on different levels of temperature. So if it's less than 40, we're going to say brr. And then here's how you do an else if. It's not just the word else. It's else and then literally the word if. And then you have another condition, another condition in, uh, in parentheses. So I'm going to say temperature less than 50. And I'm going to say, hmm, kind of cold. And uh, you can have as many else ifs as you want. So you can, you can have, uh, as you can see, you don't even have to have one, right? The last notes we did was just if and then the word else. Uh, you don't even have to have an else here. But I'm going to do uh, another else if. Uh, Uh, autumn morning temp. All right. Now, Java will execute only one of these things, or in this case, none of them. Like, you don't have to do anything else. But if you look back at the top of the notes, there was an else at the end. You can, on these things, you, you could stop here if you don't, if you don't want it to do anything, if it doesn't fit these conditions, but usually, uh, lots of times in programs, you're going to then have an else condition, which is if it didn't match anything else, then do this one. So, uh, not that. So, if temp is less than 40, if it's less than 50, hmm, kind of cold. Less than 60, eh, autumn morning temperature. Otherwise, say decently warm, thanks. So let's, uh, you might even think, what if I set it to 30? Isn't it going to do all of these things? But no, it's only going to trigger one of these things ever. So it'll do the if or one of the else ifs. Or if it didn't match any of those things, then it's going to do the else. It's always, that's like the catch all there at the end. Let's, uh, Let's run this. So if I put 30 in, it just does the burr. Uh, and if I did uh, 45, it should say, hmm, kind of cold. And if I did 58, it should say autumn morning temp. And if I said 20,000, it's going to say decently warm, thanks. And not, I didn't say it was going to be a, a great, a great, a very accurate predictor. So the takeaway here is the else ifs need a condition, but just like we just did, the else doesn't have a condition. It's like the catch all. And Java will only do one of these things in one of these. Statements, Java will only execute a single block. That's why when we enter 30, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't trigger all these things, like the burr and the kind of cold and the autumn morning, because it's only going to do one of them. And the first one it gets to. It doesn't like jump around. It's not going to say, oh, I'm going to do autumn instead of the burr. It's going to go linearly. That means in a line. It, it, the first one, hey, 
temperature's 30, it's going to say burr, and then it stops checking. It doesn't go any farther. Uh, and the other thing to say is the final else does not get a condition. And you don't have to put one in. But again, if you don't put one in, then when I put 20,000 in, we wouldn't have gotten anything. Well, let's try that. 20,000 degrees. We run it, and... Uh, oh, well, I have one. So it says... Um, but if I get rid of that else, obviously, it's not going to match anything. 20,000, nothing happens. So, All right, that's it for...